I don't think I'd want it. I don't see them. I mean, like, like Edward's point of view is kind of like my own. We share the same. When you can't die, or you know, you, I think I think living life to the fullest and knowing that there could be an end potential potentially makes living that much more grand in a way. So you, or that's how I live my life. I mean, why hoard money? You know, why not not spend it foolishly, but go on the vacations that you want to do. I mean, you have the rest of your life to work. And it's funny being an actor where you have agents saying, like, you can't leave because you'll miss this one audition. There'll be another one. You know, it's like if I have this opportunity to come to a convention like this and see you guys and hang out and see Florida, which I've never really seen, it's like, why not take that chance when I'm missing one audition on a Saturday that probably won't go anywhere or, you know, I don't like the script. I don't know. It's just funny, you know, people, I don't know, they always think that they'll do it later or they'll put something off, but I really push you guys to just take advantage of opportunities and do it when you can. And I've, I've seen a lot of friends who, who have passed, you know, just unexpected, and uh, it's sad. It really is, so. So, but if I could, sorry to Debbie Downer on that. Um, I don't know, I love traveling, so if I could live forever, I'd stay, you know, years in each city of the world. Uh, take tons of pictures. <laughs> <laughs>